it's Julia. I'm working on an upcycle project and before I get too far I thought I should film this. So I'm, I'm turning on the camera. Um, first of all to explain my, my thrift store had a half off everything sale on Black Friday or the, or the day after Thanksgiving and I picked up a few things to upcycle. I want to add more upcycled projects to my flea market shop this summer and also possibly some in my Etsy shop but I really enjoy going into a flea, into thrift stores and finding things that I can just embellish and whatever and, and flip them and, and turn them into something completely new. What I found was a, a lot of jeans but this is one in particular that I'm working on today and all their three dollar jeans were half price so this was a dollar fifty. I've already, just to catch you up, I have already cut off part of the bottom so this is right below the knee and also I picked up this skirt and let me tell you it is yards and yards of fabric to it and again I have already cut off the waistband and I finished or just surged the top and bottom of the waistband the waistband does have a drawstring in the center of it and this skirt has many many different strips of fabric going horizontally and each one of the strips has been finished off using a French seam on the inside so it's well constructed and I thought this is going to go a long ways in in lots of different projects plus I love this kind of crazy boho bohemian type look and I thought it would make a fun pair of, of jeans the fabric it doesn't have a label on it but I'm guessing it's a, a cotton mostly cotton maybe a little bit of polyester my initial idea is I want to add this by cutting it and not, not, not cutting through the drawstring but, but cutting it in the center here and, and then just basically streaming this through as, as part of the belt and in hopes that you can still use the drawstring to close it to, to draw it if you need to so that's going to be a, like a permanent fixture underneath the belt loops I thought about adding on the bottom I might have to cut a couple more inches off of this but adding a, uh, just a ruffled flounce to the bottom of each of the legs and just gather that and, and just add that to the bottom. I also thought about doing a patch embellishment using some of the fabrics, maybe a piece of lace. Another thing I really want to incorporate on the design is some sashiko. I don't if you're familiar familiar with it or if you've tried it just leave a comment I'd be interesting to to hear but it's it's an old Japanese embroidery um, mending stitch that they used to do and it's gotten very popular recently sashiko actually means little stabs I've been doing I've been doing some research on it because I just find it interesting to, to see where where it all came from but there used to be fabric restrictions in some in Japanese history and they would mend their clothing using this this method of just these little running it's like a running stitch or sometimes a more of a geometric stitch and they would get to it would just add a little bit of embellishment to their mending I love the look it just adds some a uh, homespun look to a project and it's something that I want to to try this year there I used to when I when I first started sewing I started embroidery because um, my mom would embroidery like dish towels or whatever I haven't I haven't done any of it for many many years so but I want to bring that back I actually inherited my mom's embroidery floss and this is the original tin and this just brings back so many memories because I used to play with this floss and I'm gonna just give it a try so let's get started I'm starting by cutting off a couple more inches off the bottom of each of these legs and then on to cutting the, the ruffle. I'm using the original hem of the bottom of this skirt so I don't have to hem my ruffle and decided I want about two times the width of each of these legs so it's a nice gather and then sewing the side seam and then putting the gather string around the top and then easing the gathers and just getting this to fit. With right sides together, I'm just pinning this into place and making the gathers nice and even going around around the bottom of each of these legs. 
now I'll be sewing this and also serging that top so it's a finished edge. And then on to just ironing this a little bit. Now for that top top of this or that waistband, it's it's too big. And so I did cut it in half. I'm putting it through. And then I'm having to tuck it some of it under. Cutting it another little couple inches off. Folding it under. And then I will be sewing this into place. Again, missing that drawstring. I like the way that these this drawstring has a little um, bead at the end of it. I thought that was another added touch. And here I am ripping a hole in these perfectly good jeans, but I wanted some of the inside to show, and so I'm just doing a, a tear here. And then putting some of this fabric underneath and pinning that into place as well. And now you'll see me just doing all sorts of different layouts, trying to figure out what I want and what I think looks the best. This is just trial and error and just trying to just just to to just try different things. It really came together once I found this yo-yo and I decided just to go with that and it adds another layer to it. Also adding a little detail to the other pocket. I'm at my sewing machine now and I'm putting this on with three with free motion stitching with an open um, bed on my sewing machine. What I love about free motion is you can go sideways and backwards so it's easy to do this. I don't have to turn my fabric. And I'm just getting all this stuff stitched down. Not really doing much thought with it and just getting the stitching stitching down. And now I added some markings with my Mark Be Gone pen, just where I want to try that sash sashiko. I'm using my tension hoop for this. And then here I'm starting. Just doing a running stitch. I did get my sashiko stitching done. Um, a few things that I've discovered or just as I was working, I did use the embroidery or cruel needles for this, which have a, long, have a little bit longer eye and a little bit bigger eye, so it's easier to thread your, your embroidery floss through. I did use an embroidery floss and I, and I discovered that the three strand worked best. The two strand didn't seem to show up as well as I wanted it to, especially on the denim fabric. So you might, might want to experiment with that if you're interested in doing this. Overall, I, I just need a lot of practice. I used to do a lot more handwork with cross stitching and just different things I, I, I would do, but I haven't for so long. And I've discovered that even holding the needle was awkward for me. So I know it's just gonna take some time, but I really love the, the effect of it. It just adds some detail to your work. Here I did a scalloped edge and then just filled in across the top. I will be showing some pictures at the end of the overall look of my jeans. I hope you enjoyed this quick upcycle. I think it turned out really fun. I can see um, wearing this, these in the summer with a bright colored top. I think it'd be really just a fun outfit. So have a great day everyone. I hope you have a chance to create. Bye for now.